And when you have beef of this quality that has been aged for such a long time, I like to do a very simple dish that doesn't really create a lot of complexity around the meat, but rather just underlines that sort of initial beefiness and meatness of the protein. And in this case, it's uh, a dish that's based on several different items containing a lot of umami. One of them is sugar kelp, um, and I like it because it, it has that kind of sea iodine flavor. Another item on the plate is something we call tasty paste. It's an almost soy sauce tasting paste, which is basically pure umami. It's very, very savory. It kind of really reinforces that meat flavor. So I'm just gonna put this into the hot cast iron pan. Put a little bit of butter in. We kind of keep this meat moving around so that we don't get any spots in the pan that heat up more than other spots. And the whole point is to create a really nice caramelized surface without burning neither the meat nor the cooking fat, the butter, but just having like a deep, dark taste of caramelizing dairy. And I keep it moving all the time. And this is really the most efficient way of browning meat. I think that's gonna be enough for now. I'm just gonna leave this till the exterior that we just fried has a temperature which is lower than what we're aiming for the middle to have. So now the temperature of the exterior of the meat has gone down. And it's time to give it like one last blast. This butter here is like darkly brown, but it's still not burnt. Like it tastes super good. It's kind of a, an additional seasoning to the meat. I'm not gonna keep it in the pan for very long. Something like that. While this is resting for a, a few more minutes, so I'm just gonna give it one more basting of this garlic and thyme butter. This is now cooked and ready to go. I'm gonna take a sheet of kelp and just kind of glaze it in this slightly thickened version of beef stock. A little bit of a fermented mushroom powder, which is also very, very savory a little bit of kelp oil to give kind of a stronger green flavor profile to the kelp. And a little bit of the uh, savory, tasty paste. So the ribeye of dairy cow, aged for five months to acquire really savory, concentrated beef flavor. The whole idea with this dish is basically to create a foundation on which the flavor of this fantastic grass-fed dairy cow can kind of shine.